Hi, welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. My name is Linus Sebastian and today we will be learning how to install your new video card in your existing computer system. Okay, so step one of our video card upgrading adventure is going to be re removing the side panel and finding a suitable work location. It's very important to ensure that you're not working on top of a carpet and away from any excess static electricity. So, using a screwdriver, Simply remove the screws from the back of the case, uh, preferably more gracefully than that, ensuring they don't fall and get stepped on. Okay, so you just remove the side panel, just like that. So once the case is open, the next thing you want to do is ensure that you've discharged any static electricity that does happen to be on your body. I recommend touching the power supply or a large metal part of the case. Now, you're going to need to find your old video card. The way to do this is find the card in your computer that has video ports at the back. So wherever you plugged your monitor into, that's your video card. So in this case, we will be upgrading our 6200 Turbo Cache, which I have named Old Reliable, and we will be replacing it with a new 8800 GT. Once you've located your old video card, simply unscrew the PCI bracket. Release the catch and unplug the card from your system, being sure only to handle it by the edges. So now that we've removed the old graphics card, we're ready to bring out the new one. So this is an NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GT 512 meg PCI Express card. And one thing that you will notice in a second when I take this out of the box is that it requires something the old one didn't. The old one just plugged right into the port and got all of its power from the PCI Express port. Now, this one is going to require an external PCI Express connector directly from the power supply. So it's important to ensure that your power supply has a 6-pin PCI Express connector, as well as enough power being able to be supplied by it. As a good starting point, we recommend the Corsair VX450 watt, but in this system we're using a TX750 watt. So our card comes packaged in an anti-static bag. This prevents it from being shorted out from you touching it, but before you take it out, you want to ground yourself again, because now you're handling new electronics. Again, you want to make sure that when you're handling the new card, you only grip it by the edges and not by the actual PCB portion of the card itself, because the oils from your fingertips can actually corrode all the contacts on the card itself. So. You can see the card here, and the next step is going to be installing it. So now that we've relocated our PCI Express port, we're just going to position the card, just so that it's right in place, ready to be pushed in, and then press firmly down on the center of the card until the latch has re-engaged. So now you can see it's popped back up into place, and the card is being held in. But that's not all we need. We're going to need to do the screw back up into the PCI bracket at the back. So now we'll screw the screw back into the PCI back plate. And now you can see the card is much more securely held in. OK, so now that we've got the card installed, as I mentioned before, we do need to use a power connector for this card. So our TX750 watt power supply actually has four PCI Express connectors. It generally doesn't matter which one you use if you have more than one. So, we'll just separate one of them from the bunch, and it plugs into the back of the card right here. So now we're finished with the hardware aspect of replacing Old Reliable here with an 8800 GT. Now, there's still one more thing between you and some sweet gaming action, that's downloading the latest drivers from NVIDIA.com for your Windows operating system. Other than that, close up the panel back on your case and enjoy your new card. Thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips.